All right, y'all. <clears throat> the things that I'm about to say today, a lot of people is not going to like, and I'm not here to criticize anyone. I'm not here to down anyone. Um, I just got through eating my little lunch. I'm on my little lunch break, and usually I sit and I eat lunch in my car if I'm not in my office. But I'm seeing a lot of posts and a lot of talk and a lot of feedback about what's going on in Ferguson. And a lot of people have been asking me, well, dang, what is, since you're a cop, what's your input on it? The input that I'm going to about, uh, about to put out, like I said before, it might not be what you agree, but it's about how I feel about this. Number one, let me just go ahead and say it in general. Number one, all this looting and things that's going on up there in uh, Ferguson and people breaking into businesses and shops and vandalizing this and doing all that kind of stuff and hollering racism and racism that's wrong you know what about us and i'm going to speak on behalf of a black man what about us i'm african-american myself too us as a people we want to holler racism so much but yet we're still using the n-word every day we won't let the n-word die we're so quick to go ahead and say in this and in that. Some people are just so a part of their vocabulary that it's instilled in them. They can't even get rid of it. Okay? So, but yet we're still the ones that want to holler racism. I mean, and we're just so riled up about what's going on in Ferguson. Like, I'm not even in that state. I'm in a whole different state. And I've heard all other officers' inputs from, I know officers in other states too. And I, some of them feel the same way I do. People want to get so riled up that we want to go ahead and loot to hurt ourselves. What about the families that have businesses, such as myself? I'm a business owner, okay? What about those other families who are the same color you and me are, or you and me are that's African-American? I mean, I own a business. What if it was here, or what if it was somewhere else, and you're destroying my business? You're taking food out of my family's mouth. You're messing up my future, something that I would have to rebuild. It's not fair. It's not fair at all. And it's not fair to those who do own businesses and they have to deal with people looting, people destroying their, what they've worked so hard for. It's hard to get a business started. It's a lot of money put into it. And some of these people, that's their only source of income. But yet, we want to take that from them and destroy it. But they got families and daughters and sons and people to take care of and houses, house notes and carnal. They got bills to pay too, but... We're so riled up that we want to go ahead and destroy somebody else's livelihood. And another thing, black on black crime, black on white crime, white on white crime, whatever the crime might be, you still have African Americans shooting, stabbing, and killing each other on a daily basis. And there's a lot of cops out there, just like me, that can tell you themselves, there's a lot of it that goes on. But are we looting over it? I don't see you all looting over those kind of things. When we have to go and worry about uh, what colors to wear or what gangs to look out for, just finding any kind of reason to take someone's life, it hurts to lose a family member. I don't agree with somebody being shot and losing their lives, regardless if they're uh, armed or not armed or whatnot. Nobody deserves to lose their life and go to hell over something they could have go ahead and made right. I'd rather go ahead and comply than to just go ahead and lose my life. Not saying he didn't comply. I don't know what the situation or that story was about. But at the same time, his family, regardless of the outcome, what it is right now, he's gone. But his family is still hurting. They're hurting. Imagine how his mother feels. Imagine how you would feel if you lost your son. And for those of you that's lost close family members, regardless if it was police brutality or whatever the case might be, it hurts to lose someone, especially in that manner. And if they can be civilized about it, and that's his family. If the Brown family can be civilized about that and asking people not to lose, not to do this, not to do that, then why can't we do it? Why can't you all do it? If they're going to be civilized about it and they're hurt at the same time, why would we want to hurt them even more by looting in their son's honor? That doesn't really make sense to me. It, it really it really doesn't. And you got to also think about another thing. What about that officer that was involved in that situation? The officer that shot him. 
A lot of people saying right now, reading, oh, he's going to die. He's this. He deserves that. And we want to see him. Uh, the same thing happened uh, with Zimmerman and all these other. And he, Zimmerman he wasn't even a cop. But what about that officer? Sleepless nights. Even if he was doing his job or not. The same thing could have happened to me. It could have happened to another officer. It could have any situation that doesn't look right in the public's eye. It's always going to be aimed towards the police. Regardless if we're doing our jobs or if we're not doing it at all, is somebody still going to be the blame for it? Somebody will still be the blame. Not just him, but what about the officers up there in Ferguson? You have African American officers up there too, all all types, but they have to lead their families to go out in these streets, in these dangerous streets, to put their life on the line to go ahead and restore order because of something that the public is doing. These African American youngsters, even older people, they're putting their lives on the line and they didn't have anything to do with that. They have husbands and wives and children. They have families also. But how does that look? It's not right. It's not right. Especially when it gets to the point where our own president, our president is asking for peace. He's asking for peace. Right is right and wrong is wrong. No matter what you feel about the situation, no matter how much you lose, no matter how much you destroy things, no matter what, that's still not going to bring that person back. What we need to be doing and let me say this, because this is the first thing that I was doing during that verdict, even though I wasn't really paying attention to it. I waited to after, after the fact to go ahead and hear about it. But what we should be doing is continuing to pray and to trust God. Praying for their family, praying for the Brown family. Because we're taking this personal on ourselves by looting. We're taking it to a whole nother level. And it's bad, people. I'm a peaceful kind of person. Yes, I'm a cop. I don't like arresting people. I try to go ahead and be as calm as I can. If, for those of you that know me, you all know that I like to joke and play around and make friends. I like to talk at schools. I like to go ahead and be in the community versus trying to go and find somebody to arrest all the time. That's one thing I know for a fact my friends can say about me because I'm not like other cops. But at the same time, when you have authority, abide by it. If your parents brought you up in the church, just like you hear them say all the time, you spare the rod, you spoil the child. Train up the child in the way they should go, and when they get older, they will not depart from it. If you were born in the church and you were raised the right way, how does that make your parents feel when you're out there doing other things, not what they raised you at? If I were to do something that's just so horrific, or if I were to get in trouble or start looting or if I shot somebody, if I was in a game or gang, or if I just did something that I wasn't brought up like this, it makes my parents look bad. You are a reflection on your parents. And if your parents didn't do that good of a job, or you didn't think they did that good of a job, then you know what? You need to pray on that one. Make yourself different. We have a lot of people that, you know, who weren't brought up in the same household, who weren't brought up with both parents in the house whose parents were on drugs or whose parents were out in the street. But don't let that determine who you're going to be in the future. If you want to do right and you want to forgive that person, don't blame the person for your mistakes. Pray and ask God for forgiveness and ask him to show you the right way. Pray for forgiveness, people. The first thing we should have done is pray. Pray, pray, pray. Well, what are this? It's, it's it's still wrong. Yeah, you're just taking their side. Of, it's still wrong. He still lost his life, and he shot, and he didn't. He wasn't armed, and all that kind of stuff. I understand your pain. I understand your frustration. Who wouldn't? All you're going by is what the news media is telling you, and the news media is covering a lot. Some true, some not true. But like I said before, nobody deserves to lose their life for no reason. If you were brought up in the way that you're supposed to be brought up, if you have respect for authority or respect for officials, respect for your parents, respect for the people who you are brought up by, then that shouldn't have been a problem at all. 
but we're very quick to holler racism when we're still doing some of the same things that we were doing back in the day. Some of these great leaders like uh, Martin Luther King, matter of fact, he would probably be rolling over in his grave if he saw something like that. We want to speak nonviolence when the trial is going on and want everything to go in our way, but when it doesn't go our way, we want to get violent. Anyway, I just want to go ahead and share that with you. I want to eat my little sandwich right quick so I can get back to work and let you hear from my point of view. But I'm myself, I'm going to continue to pray for that family, and I pray that you do too. Because like I said, if you know how it really feels to lose a loved one, regardless if they were a shot or uh, by police or whatever the cause may be, death is death. Pray for the family. Pray for peace. Pray for each other. I love y'all.